Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Debbie, and this is my New Horizon series, and I believe we're on episode five. Um, <laughs> as you can see, I've done a little bit of work on the farms, like I said, and I also uh, I decided to move. I, I know I found that place um, pretty quickly, and it was convenient, but I. I really like this uh, magical forest and I want to work with it and uh, I found this spot and I was really inspired by it and I, I wanted to build something nice so I started off with just this deck and I got a little bit carried away and it just uh, it wound up being a little tree farm next to it and then I built this platform up here, and then I built the, the farm areas, and um, I, I'm also wanting to build another area up here, sort of over in this area up here, uh, for some Thoughtcraft, because this this mod pack is just filled with a lot of different uh, magic based mods and I'm really excited to, to try those out and there have been some changes made to Thomcraft. I, I can see that already because uh, when I went to go look into making a wand well, the wand recipe is different. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Normally it was like a gold nugget, a stick, and then one of the little Thomcraft gems. But now we have like uh, this iron capped wooden wand to work with. And that's the recipe. You just have to make these iron caps. So I'll be going over that too. Uh, I want to get started on the Thomcraft, uh, but I'm going to have to build this area for it first. As you can see, there's uh, <laughs> there's a spider spawner under there. I haven't taken care of that. Uh, I was trying to save it because there are a few things of interest around here that I noticed after I decided to pick this spot. Um, that's one of them. There's actually another tree like this over there. I don't think I've, uh, I've ran into it once. Uh, there's also one out this way. And <laughs> I noticed this after I settled over here. Over here, you'll notice this big gaping hole there's actually a spawner over here. It's just a spider spawner. But I might do something with that uh, because there there isn't any, you know, not that I know of a uh, way to, to spawn mobs. Uh, so I'll go ahead and save this and, and see, see if we need it. But there's also like I said, another cave spider tree out this this direction somewhere. It's not this one. Um, if you look on the map, um, you can't really see. It's up to the north west is where the, old, the other base is. We're right south of that uh, snow biome in the magic forest. So it's not too far away and while I was sitting out here <coughs> I don't want to clear away or clear too much out of this forest but I found a horse and when I found that uh, spider spawner there was a saddle in there so I went ahead and just tamed him and uh, got a lead. I I saw another horse out there. I, I'm going to try and go get it too. I'll probably, I don't know, 
I don't know if I'll do that off camera or not. But anyway, <laughs> I want to clear this uh, tree back here. Let's go ahead and wait until dark so I can sleep. Because uh, look how close it is. And the top there sort of overhangs right here. I'm afraid that there might be mobs able to drop over into onto my little uh, safe area because this place is perfectly lit up. No mobs will spawn up here and the only way for them to get here is through this front gate. And of course there's a gate over there so they can't really get get into here. So I'm going to have to take that tree down and, and I also need no, no, that tree is far enough away. Okay, so let's go ahead and sleep, and I want to go tackle that cave spider spawner. While I was exploring, I'll show you after I do the tree. Let's go get him. Oh, uh, let's just go. There's a cave down there. Banzai! Uh, okay. Ooh, a sword of the Zephyr. That's awesome. Some iron scraps, and I haven't looked at the rotary, the rotary craft very much. I'm getting. <laughs> I don't have to go find <laughs> nether wart now because I'm getting plenty of it. I guess you still have to have soul sand. Alright, so I guess we're gonna chop this thing down. <laughs> it's just a wee little tree. Let's get this chest. I don't wanna fill that in. There. Okay, so that takes care of that. Oh no! Oh, a cave system. Well, how do you get out of here? This way! Follow me! Okay. <laughs> I have gotten, I've been trying to just get these farms going so I could have food. It's it's crazy. <laughs> uh, I'm seriously thinking about making a squid farm though because with uh, Pam's Pam craft and with those uh, mods they added calamari. Oh, let me get the regular menu map back. Alright. When you kill the squid you get the calamari. And I went ahead and and I made some. I made some sushi. Uh, there's also seaweed, which I have um, a little crop of over here. The hard part is actually the rice. It's uh, get me out of here. It doesn't grow very fast. Let me go with that. It doesn't grow very fast at all. So let's get these guys running kind of low now. So this, the the seaweed is growing really good. I might go ahead and make a, another field over here. I've got plenty of areas. I decided to break these up into smaller farms instead of making like this whole one for wheat. I decided to cut them up into little sections because there are so many different crops in the Pam's uh, harvest, harvest craft. So it's crazy. There's tons, tons of stuff. Let's go ahead and get two more of those. And I made like one of all the tools uh, for it. We just need this one. 
And oh, we need we need the sushi. There we go. So get these guys. Bam. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, uh <laughs> there's actually a chef that, that does that you know, when you add spices to it. He says, BAM! Let's get... Oh, and <laughs> I was like, um, in, uh, I'm not sure which mod does it, but I was looking through to find um, the recipe for the lead, and I looked at the different recipes for the slime balls, I think, or the recipes that it's used in, and I saw that you could actually make cobwebs. That's awesome. Because it used to be the only way you could get, uh, to get those is if you had silk touch on shears. And that's kind of that's kind of hard to get. Not that you, you know, need cobwebs for much, but I need to go out there and clear those up because that's really gonna bother me. Anyway, let's go and and see what else I found. Um, now that I have the food. Throw some of this stuff over here. No scraps there. Yay, got another empathy, empathy bu bucket. Man, I can't even talk right now. I'm throwing my wood up there. The saplings down here. Look at that chest up there. I'll be using it later. Go ahead and put that. See, I've gotten eight nether warts from chests. I also need to plant these. Um, I think that's just dirt. Oh. I didn't bring it with me. Um, There. Oh look! Uh, this is some crops from Magical. The Magical crops. Um, it's pretty cool. This is the very first ones that you can make. You just right click it. Is it ready? <gasps> oh no! Okay, it it has a seed. All right. It dropped a weak magic essence and a seed. And some coal essence is that used in. So if you get eight of those, that'll make twelve coal. Or you can use it in essence bricks. They have some building blocks as well in this mod pack. Stone brick. Coal tempted. Oh, and you can change those as well. Oh! That's kind of cool. You can change the color of glowstone and brick and stone. Oh, and you can also use basalt and marble and wood. That's awesome. <laughs> oh look, the other one's ready too. So it looks like you get the seed. I didn't get a magical essence that time, but I got another cold essence. Well, that's cool. That's awesome. Um, to to do that, the coal one, you just take. You have to have the seeds, uh, just the plain wheat seeds. Uh, not any of the other seeds, just wheat. And then you take four of the 
the, the weak essence in a diamond shape around it. And then four coal in the corners. And that gives you like two of those coal seeds. Oh, that doesn't go there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put that in there. Um, but the coal one is the, the only one you can do to start out with these weak magic essence um, to uh, go to the next set you have to have um, the regular magic essence which is nine weak magic essence and uh, these guys will allow you to get redstone seeds glowstone seeds, obsidian and dye seeds. And I don't know exactly what the wand is for. I looked on the mods wiki, but there were a few pages that didn't load anything, so I have no idea what this is for. Um, I think it's used, I saw that it was used in a couple of the recipes uh, for those blocks that you could use, um, that you could use the tinted things, um, yeah, so far that's the only thing I've seen, I don't know if there's any other use for it, uh, so maybe it's sort of considered like the equivalent exchange, sort of you're exchanging these for these and that's the fuel so it's sort of like that I guess um, but I don't, I don't have enough of the essence here to go to the next step I do have it back at the other base um, so I could actually get some redstone stuff going at least a couple of them and those other things that I planted were ender lilies. I got those from a chest too. Anyway, let's go ahead and sleep because there is another monster spawner underneath. There's a whole mine shaft underneath this lake. I am like, <laughs> I don't know if, it depended on how you look at it, I am either the luckiest or the unluckiest person because everywhere I pick there's always a mine shaft underneath. Um, oh, he died before he could make it. Okay, so I had a little stairway down over here and I, I dug around here just to make sure it was clear and lit up. Oh, hey, there's supposed to be a torch here. <laughs> okay, we got it taken care of. So, back this way underneath uh, the water I had to <laughs> I had to work my way through the water slowly filling it in there to get past here and there's this huge cave system down here where I've actually been this used to be dirt <laughs> right here I've been quarrying the dirt to make uh, my farms up there because I didn't want to um, I didn't want to scar the landscape because I think it's it actually looks kind of cool so um, let's go down here pretty sure it's over this way after this gravel yeah and if you look right over there up there. I started coming in here. Oh, and I didn't get... Uh, I need more torches. Oh, there's some coal. What happened was I didn't have any sticks with me when I came down here that first time. So I couldn't make... Uh, couldn't make any torches even if I had coal. So... Oh! I do have plenty of torches on me. Okay. Never mind. So I think what I want to do is... Um, I don't know how I want to get up there. 
But these guys were just pouring. I don't know where they were coming out from. Ooh! Uh, uh, come on, come on, come on. Ah! But this is just huge. I didn't really uh, explore over here much. I ran out of torches. Uh, and I didn't have... I think they might be coming from up there. It, it looked like they were coming up from up here, but I think they're dropping down, actually. Um, let's sort of light up. Oh, oh my goodness, a ravine with a wisp? Wisp bad, oh goodness. Yep, I think they're coming out of that. Yep, right up there. Okay, let's sort of... This no, I'll do it like that. Whoa, 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 whoa! No, 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 no! Don't knock me off! Don't, don't knock me off! Bad, bad zombie! Oh. just sort of no if anything can get up from around there so that's cool let's go see what's inside <sighs> uh, cool iron scraps electrical Deal. Hmm. I haven't. Um, I know Ars Magica is another magic mod, uh, but I haven't really looked into it yet. I looked at the Arcane Scrolls, and, and I want to do. Um, I want to mess around with the. Oh. There's more zombies down there. This is a messed up. <laughs> this is a messed up mine shaft. I mean, look at all this gravel over here. What is up with. Ooh, I need to eat. I have 41 levels. I've been trying to save it up so I can unlock the rest of those. Um, Arcane scrolls, the the utility ones, because I thought those were pretty handy. I'm a utility type of person. I like convenient things. Um, I don't like how this is open. Ooh, where's the zombies coming from? I think they're coming from over here. Yeah, whoa, 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 bad, bad song. Look at all this mess. Oh, there was another one. Oh, he's getting caught in that spider web. Thank you, spider web. Let's see if we can figure out where these guys are coming from. Oh. Didn't come from over here. Oh, I'd hate to drop down there. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna wall that off. That would be bad to fall down there. Yeah. Okay, so maybe they're coming from up here. Oh, wisp. That's the good thing about being inside. Mr. Wisps can't get away from you! Ugh. Oh, except they can. Whew. Okay. Let's go 
there's some more torches down here. Oh. <gasps> oh my goodness, <laughs> that scared me. <sighs> oh. Shh. Hold on, hold on. Breathe. Oh, he's in the spider web. Yes, there's a song. I hear another. <gasps> I hear zombies. And baby zombies. Um. Um. Let's sort of. Let's look at our treasure. And I don't want to be disturbed. So. <laughs> I love, I love you, little minecart with chest. Oh, really? I don't really like you that much anymore. But um, that's actually pretty cool because there was a machine that I was wanting to make that I, I couldn't make this yet. So that was actually pretty cool. And I normally pick those up, but I'm full. So. Um, yeah, I wonder where are those guys coming from? It sounds like this way. Oh uh, yeah, 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 hello, hello. Oh, the water's keeping them from coming over here. Thank you, water. Okay, let's block this off because I can't see what's over there. Oh! Oh! Oh no! Oh! Ah! <sighs> ah! No, no, no! No, no, no! No, 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 no! Bad, bad! Bad, 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 bad! Oh, goodness! Where are they coming from? I'm gonna wear my sword out. <gasps> Is there another dungeon or something? Guess I'm gonna be breaking in that sword of the Zephyr because I don't. I think I have some iron with me, so I could if I needed to. Looks like they're coming from. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna plug this up. I don't want anything sneaking up on me. I saw them coming from over there. <laughs> We're ready for him now. Oh yeah, and this does the AoE, which is good because we got lots of zombies. Okay, let's go. I think we got I have another spawner. Oh thank you, sort of Zephyr. Yes. Another spawner. Oh. oh! Oh, 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 No! Oh! <sighs> bad, 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 bad. Oh, also bad, bad. Bad. Bad zombies. Oh my goodness. <laughs> This is too open. Um, let's do this. We'll get to those 
we'll get to him. I believe there's another one over here. Okay. I don't like, uh, is that? Oh, that's just where the, the gravel fell. There's no, no way to get down there. Okay. <gasps> Two zombie spawners. I wonder if that one's close enough. Iron scraps. Iron scraps. Electrical steel. We'll have to come back for the other stuff. Because mm, we're full. Yep. Okay, so I'm wondering, is this one close enough to make a double? Oh look, they lost their heads. <gasps> I'm being stopped. Did you see that? Uh, there's a... Is not that is not nice. You know what? I better better put torches down or I'm gonna get lost. I'm full, I need to go. Uh a whole nother ravine. Oh my goodness. That's crazy. <laughs> so we have two. Ooh. Oh, it's another part. Anyway, <laughs> I just wanted you to see just how lucky I am to get <laughs> wonderful mine shafts underneath. And yes, I know there. Um, why are there more mancha sounds? <gasps> That's order infused. Um, that's a little bit different. Oh, come on, you can do it. You can do it. Okay. I know how uh, I need to gather that stuff, but I I'm full. I hear more zombies. Yeah, I need to go back up, and, and I'll probably get back up for a... Oh, goodness, there's a whole other part of the mine shaft up there, too. Yeah, I guess that, uh... I guess that's not close to the other one. To the other spawner. Not close enough to make it a double or anything. Because it was, uh, it was up to the north of the base, sort of. Anyway, um, I didn't get anything accomplished <laughs> other than to show you a little bit um yeah so I guess the next episode I will go I haven't really progressed that much I've just done some exploring um I did did go ahead and mine a few diamonds I was trying to hold off so I could get a fortune pick really was but um, I, I had to get it because I didn't see any way around uh, mining the diamonds there was no easy way to get um, fortune 
so that I could mine them and get more. So I had to mine three to get a diamond pick to get some obsidian because there's no way to get the obsidian through like uh, equivalent exchange so I had to make a diamond pick. I really don't like doing that because that's the only thing you need the diamond picks for is obsidian. So yeah. And I also, I also mined enough for, uh, enough obsidian for the nether portal and an enchantment table. Um, and I went ahead and mined two more diamonds for the enchantment table. So we're good for that. Uh, maybe I'll go ahead and do that stuff and maybe get started on some Thomcraft ne next episode. And I'll try to build that platform to start uh, to start building a Thomcraft area. And <laughs> I know this isn't a house or a base, but I sort of I like the open areas. Whoa! <laughs> Look at that tree that grew. It's humongous. Um, I did chop a lot of trees down, as you can tell, I've got tons of charcoal over here and two more stacks in there. So we got gobs of it, gobs of it going, um, what do I need to put in there, the electrical steel. So yes, there was, um, some items, some blocks, some machines that I wanted to make with this uh, to to get some uh, of the rotary craft started. Um, wow, there are there. It's used in a lot of recipes. I thought it would be easy. Oh, there's the work table. Uh, I don't know what the difference that is versus the other ones, but I'll make it. I'll make it and see. But I wanna, uh, I wanna see what the machines were that I was wanting to. Um, they have a whole nother uh, in these mod packs. It's not just rotary craft. It's um, It's another mod, too, that, that's coupled with this. Um, I'm trying to see if there's a recipe, but yes, it's massive, <laughs> massive uh, amounts of things that you can make with these stuff. So yeah, I'll figure it out, um, what it was that I was wanting to build, because I have you have so many different ways to start now. Uh, with these different mod packs and I'm just not uh, I'm not familiar with which ones I should go with so I'm kind of stalled out so I need to I need to figure out which mods uh, what what all the different mods do and and go from there so do I have flint in there? I'm I'm gonna need some more. I'm gonna need some more chests. Definitely. Oh look, <laughs> and I have two. But yeah, there's so there's two or three different tech mods that are that I've never played with before. Um, the thermal expansion I'm familiar with, and and. I know the the machines on that, and they're oh, I love thermal expansion. It's so fluid with how the machines interact with each other. You don't need pipes; they just work together, and they were designed that way. There was a lot of thought put behind those machines, and I really like it. Um, the other the other mods are a lot more. Uh, 
complex and I'm not familiar with them, so it's going to take me some time to figure those out. Um, oh, yes, and I brought a tool forge over here to repair because I don't want to have to run all the way over there to get to the tool forge to repair uh, the pickaxe and the hammer and the lumber axe. And I I waited for the tree farm just to get this because this is so awesome. This is a lumber axe. It's not a normal axe. It has a tree capitator effect. Um, so when you chop down the bottom block of the tree, like so, it knocks the whole thing down. And that uh, goes for even this huge tree right here. It'll knock all of them down. <laughs> And I, and I love that. I, I really like the Tree Capitator mod uh, because it's so difficult to get up inside some of the trees. I mean, the oak, some of them are small, but some of them could grow gigantic like, like this one did. And then you have to tower up to, to get all of that down, and I don't like doing that. But this little axe right here saves you that trouble. And that's uh, one of the reasons why I like Tinker's Construct is because it, it has the more powerful tools. Um, but <laughs> it wasn't easy to make. Uh, you had to make the molds. Uh, there was, well, you can see here, uh, if you look at, let me take the iron out, the lumber axe, and these are, the lumber axe and the hammer and the, ex uh, the excavator and I think the scythe as well, uh, the cleaver and the battle axe. All of the stuff that does the area of effect, um, you have to have the, the uh, advanced tool forge made with the iron blocks and the seared bricks um, because these tools are more powerful but you have to make these molds. So I had to make four molds, which was eight gold to make those molds. And then I had to smelt the iron uh, in the smeltery to make each piece. And like this, the plate is eight. So that took eight iron for that. And the, the axe mold, uh, that was another eight. And this one was three, and this one was three, so uh, that was 16, 22 iron, and just to make it, and then you got to repair it. It takes a lot to repair. I mean, it, uh, if you look, well, my, my stuff isn't that damaged right now, but if you, I'll go ahead and show you. Let's do the repair mode. Um, you can't really tell, but one iron isn't going to repair that much. I wouldn't be wasting too much of an iron to repair that because it, it doesn't do very much. On this one, one iron will repair it all the way from broke to, to almost full. But on these, it's, uh, it only repairs a little. And the hammer, the hammer took like 27 iron to make because you had to have two plates here and the hammerhead and all three of those are eight so that's 24 and this was three so that's 27 iron that it took to make that which is pretty hefty when you're starting out but it's such such a valuable tool in my opinion the the axe and the hammer um, for those reasons for the it's just awesome. <laughs> just do it. Just do it. And the the hammer. Uh, let me show you. Let's go down here. Now this only works on stone. Um, so that's how I dug out this area around. It does an area. Uh, this is good. Three by three. 
It's only one deep. Just like that. I bet it only does stone and stone-like um, things like this marble it would do. But it won't do dirt. See? <laughs> it, it breaks the dirt, but it won't do the area of effect for it because it wasn't meant to do that. It just does stone and that helps so much. I, I did some branch mining down um, at the mining place, at the other place, uh, <laughs> looking for an emerald because I wanted to try and get the silk touch um, for for my pickaxe because there's another mod that you can uh, get double your the double your output for things like diamonds and um, em I'm guessing emeralds, lapis, anything that you would get the fortune with, but instead of doing fortune you could just do the silk touch and then grind it. It was uh, engineer's toolbox. The grinder is what it does. But you can, uh, with the grinder, which I couldn't do that because of these blank modules right here. You have to have glowstone for that. So next episode, we're going to try to go to the nether and get some, some glowstone so we can start some of the other uh, different mods and uh, that I've never played with before because they look really interesting. And I'm looking forward to it. And anyway, this one's run a little bit long, so I'll let you go for now, and we'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.